everybody. Hi, freaks and freakettes. Welcome to Freaky Deaky Mind. This is Belinda here on Wednesday's Wellness Wednesday, which means it's midweek, which means take a look at how your week's going. How's your week going so far? One of the things I want you to think about, hi Wally, and Wally's here to do that too, is think about how your boundaries, what does your boundaries look like? Do you have boundaries or you just like let everybody just do whatever to you or go over you or or take advantage of you or do you set boundaries for yourself? Think about yourself in a situation where you need to protect yourself and you're, I don't know, let's say you're in the woods somewhere and need to protect yourself. I don't know, the woods is a strange scenario, but somewhere where you need to protect yourself. And usually what we do or what we think of is just putting a fence around. Put a fence around your situation to protect yourself, your kids, your animals. Think about that for your mind, that you need to do that for your mind. You need set, to set boundaries for your own mental health, which means make sure that you know what your boundaries are. You know, but not only that, make sure that other people know what your boundaries are. Right? So I need to do this for my own mental health. I need to do this for my own happiness. I'm sorry. I love you so much, but I need to do this for myself. I need to take care of myself. And that's crossing a boundary. You're crossing a boundary right now with me. So I cannot do that. And at first, yeah, if you've never had boundaries, people are going to be pissed. They're going to be pissed, especially family. They will be pissed. But after a while, if they start to understand and respect your choices of having boundaries, maybe they'll create some of their own, right? You know, maybe you create a, a, a something like that on your own. So my boundaries can be things like, I don't allow certain things to happen within my household. It causes me anxiety and stress. And it's, it's a boundary I've set up. I don't allow people to talk to me a certain way. It's like I'm not talking no more. You cross my boundary. I'm not talking. I'm not talking. Um, until you can talk in a more civilized manner. I'm not doing it. You know, you can jump up and down. You can do whatever you need to do. But I'm not having that conversation. I'm done. Um, if they think or interpret that as being like, well, you don't care, you blah, blah, blah. No, that's not true. That's not it. But don't keep engaging back and forth. Just say, I'm done. When you're ready to have a good conversation with me and we can talk civilly uh, without yelling and screaming, if we can have a good conversation, then, um, we'll do that. But my boundary is, I'm not going to have a conversation when someone is not focusing or being able to hear what I'm saying. They're just too worked up. They're too they're too upset. Um, what's some of my about? What could be some of your boundaries? I'll say if you're working, uh, my boundary is I'm not working this extra shift. I'll, I'll work so many shifts a week. I'm not working more. I'm not crossing that boundary. Why are you not crossing this boundary? Because it doesn't do me well. It takes me too much recovery time for my yes, physical yes, mental health. Yes. Whatever, whatever. You have to create boundaries for yourself, right? Boundaries in regards to how much you're going to help somebody. Are you crossing the boundary of helping and enabling someone? You know, you know what? It's the old thing where people talk about um, um showing people how to fish versus fishing for them. And I know, I don't know how that actually goes, that quote, but basically you have to realize that you need to set people up in your life, be it your kids, your family members, whatever, if they're, or, or if you're supporting people, whatever it is, but you need to support in a way that just think about it. What you're doing is helping people. So, or, or guiding people to be able to help themselves when you're not around. So if you're always going to be there to jump in to solve this, to solve that, to financially help this, to help that, without any repayback or without any um, 
I don't know, respect or understanding or conversation or it's crossing, it's helping, but it's enabling and helping, you know? And I think a lot of people go wrong with that. They want to help, help, help. Well, I need to help them. I need to help them. Well, think about it like this. If we're talking about someone who has an addiction, you know, you can keep bailing them out. Are you going to keep, hey, puppies, are you going to keep bailing them out? Are you going to keep thinking that if I jump in and financially help them out because whatever, because they're spending money on something else or, um, you know, it wasn't their fault or you listen to these stories and you think part of you in the back of your mind is thinking, yeah, this doesn't make sense, but you still take their word for it. You don't challenge them. You're enabling them. You're enabling them to think that it's okay to come up with scenarios that are not true or to exaggerate situations that are not true. It's enabling. It's not helping. It's creating a repetitive um way someone is going to treat you. And I remember Oprah said, and I know some people may not like Oprah, but some of the things she have said she has said over the years, I have really some of them have really stuck stuck with me. Stuck. Some really stayed with me. And um, one of them is you teach people how to treat you. So if you don't have boundaries set up of what is acceptable and not acceptable, then you teach people how they can treat you. And if you allow it to happen and allow it to happen, you know, then <laughs> how are you going to get back from that? Right? How are you going to get back from that if you allow people to do certain things? And so you may say, oh, so-and-so did this and so-and-so did that. And I don't understand why they keep doing this to me, blah, blah, blah. Well, why don't you look at yourself? Because really that's the only thing you can do. You can only change yourself. So look at why they continue to do this. Is it because maybe you taught them that it's okay? Your behavior showed them that it's okay to cross every boundary that, or that you don't have boundaries, that it's okay to run to you last minute, that it's okay that you're going to drop everything. Um, my partner's coming in, so I'm just going to pause this for a second. Bought them bitch again. She just does it to be nasty, honey. Right? Be boss. Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm not sure. I tried a few times to pause it when my partner was coming in, but I don't think it worked for some reason. Um, so when I put these two videos together, it should be interesting. But um I mean, that's a typical example. He came in complaining about the lady at the post office. <laughs> and you know what? We can't control it. I mean, by you getting all upset and being worked up about something like that, what is it going to do, really? You know, what is it going to do? Just cause more stress for your own self. Not worth it. So, um, yeah, we were talking about boundaries. Yes. So that's what I think you should do for Wellness Wednesday. It's just look at your own self, look at your boundaries, and maybe just, I don't know if you need to write it down, but maybe look at the things that you would like to have a boundary about, like a boundary, like um, certain things that you will not accept. Look at certain things that you do that may create an enabling situation and do some research on enabling versus helping. There's a huge difference between enabling versus helping. And I know a lot of um, people um, struggle with that with children. You know, I know a lot of people do. And, you know, I'm not no innocent person either. I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect. No way. However, um, it is something to be aware of. When you're in, aware of it, when you look at it, and when you realize you have adult children and that the adult children... You don't have to care for them the way you did when they were little. Um, that they should respect your boundaries because you need to protect your own health. It's not like they're going to do it, right? So you need to do that. So anyhow, that is it for today. 
Have yourself a great day. Enjoy that mucky weather. We had some snow last night and it was, um, <laughs> it was nice coming down, but now that it left, Everything is water everywhere. I know in my yard it is. Um, and uh, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change. Change the things that I can, like creating boundaries, like looking at how my relationships are, what I can do to make my relationships not as stressful. Um and the wisdom to know the difference between what you can do versus what you you cannot do. So do that. Thank you. Bye.